Hey guys, number three for the week. Um, Otaki Beach, it looks so beautiful and blue to me down here and the sun's come out for me for doing this so I'm super happy that it's not raining. Um, down here because my grandmother passed away and uh, down for the funeral. So this is about, um, well it's, it's about a five and a half hour drive if you didn't stop and the traffic was perfect and the weather was perfect but we know that's never the case in New Zealand. So it's about a six to seven hour drive. It's a bit of a long drive down here but um, you know this is closer to where I'm from. I'm from Wellington. Well, actually, from Wainui Amada, to be specific. Uh, but we live in Hamilton. Our family moved back because it's been a tough wars. It still is, and we'll be open again next year. Yay, party! Good party. Uh, but anyway, that's why I'm down here. Um, and our family's doing all good. And there's been lots of condolences and messages, and I thank you all for that. It's much appreciated. But we're going to get on with our scripture study. Now, come follow me. And we're in Moroni 1 to 6 this week, and right now we're going to go to Moroni chapter 4, verse 3. Um, remember that these chapters are very short, but they have really great information in them, so really pick them apart and, and really look at them. Um, chapter 4 is the beginning of the sacrament prayers, so chapter 4 and chapter 5 give you um, both the blessing on the bread and the water. But chapter 4 is about the bread, but we're going to look at verse 3. Now, You'll know this in your head. If you go to church every week and take the sacrament, you'll know this in your head. But we're going to focus on a little bit of it that you maybe not have thought about before and see if the next time you take the sacrament, this will ring in your head and, and you'll feel that. Okay, so, say it with me, guys. O oh God, the Eternal Father, we ask thee in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ, to bless and sanctify the bread to the souls of all those who partake of it that they may eat in remembrance of the body of thy Son, and witness unto thee, O God, the Eternal Father, that they are willing to take upon us the name of Christ, the name of thy Son, and always remember him, and keep his commandments which he has given them, that they may always have the Spirit to be with them. Amen. And I got a little wrong. A little, a little bit mixed up in the middle, because I just, I love Christ rather than Son. Yeah, anyway, and I, and I included an ask this to be the point it gets me emotional in there because one that you know we, we can go week to week and just sort of like yeah it's, it's segment yeah got it done right cool let's talk right let's go you know and, and miss that and I think COVID this year has really taught us a, a, a lot of things that we like to gather together often we're going to get to that one um, but that partaking of the sacrament as a congregation has something innately spiritual in it um, Josiah um, Insink, who I talked to, and he told me about, you know, taking sacrament. He's like, there's something, we're talking about taking sacrament. He's like, there's something special in taking the sacrament, knowing that everybody around you is doing the same thing, or everyone around the world at about that time, or, you know, within that sort of 24 hour period, is doing the same thing as you. And taking the sacrament, recommitting to the baptismal covenants, and believing in Christ. There's something about a, like a global congregation to that. And I had really never thought about it like that. I had thought about it as far as our ward goes and how nice that is, but I had never really thought about it as a global congregation and how that does bring us together in unity. So we're talking a lot about unity at the moment and Thanksgiving, so gratitude for that and the unity that comes in thinking that around the globe, there's so many of us that go to church and take of the sacrament. So remember that, and it's in remembrance of Jesus Christ, and it says to take upon the name of thy son. So that's what we're going to focus on. Because when you take upon the name of Jesus, you take upon his characteristics, his way of being, and that goes back to the first one. We're trying to be like Jesus, we're trying to be like Christ. So, which one of the names of Christ has the most meaning to you? And it will change for you um, week to week, sometimes year to year, sometimes, um, you know beloved son has got the most meaning sometimes it's comforter sometimes it's, I mean there's just so many different names and the quote from this week I've literally got um, I found it on online really nicely and it's got a whole bunch of his names and then if you like you know if you've got it on your screen and you do the pinch out thing to enlarge it you'll be able to see the scripture reference to it underneath and it's very tiny it's sort of built into the background to make it look pretty but if you yeah, zoom in and I'll give you the scripture reference so do that if you want to look at any of them but yeah which one like do you focus 
well. I mean, right now, for me, I like the words that he's my brother. I like his name that he's my brother. That, that really resonates with me because I need a really good older brother to lean on right now. I've got a pretty cool younger brother, but sometimes you need that older sibling, and he's our older sibling for all of us. So we all have that. He's also my friend because I need a good friend. And lately, I need a protector. And he's that too. He's an advocate and a protector, and I need that. That's what's resonating with me lately. But it has changed over time, and it will change. So have a look at those names and maybe think of something. And when it says on Sunday, when you go to have sacrament, and it says, take upon you the name of Christ, which name are you going to take that week? And, and take with you and feel? And then try and emulate that characteristic take on that emotion the feel, and everything that goes with that. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. I don't know how I can explain it any better. Of course, if you have comments for this, please leave them. If you've got questions, please ask them. I'm only too happy to try and answer them and if I can't, I'll admit it and I'll put you on to somebody better. Um, but yeah, I just try to do my best here to make it awesome and inspiring and get you thinking and get you doing Come Follow Me because Come Follow Me is the bomb. Okay, so that was number three. I'm going to do number four in a sec. I'm not going to move from the spot because it's freaking nice, right? So blessed to be on the beach right now. Okay, thanks for this one. See you in a bit.